how to turn on or off hypervisor platform in Windows 11. The Windows 11 hypervisor platform, when turned on, adds an API for third-party virtualization applications and stacks. This allows these third-party virtualization developers to create and manage partitions at the hypervisor level, configure memory mappings for the partition, and create and control execution of virtual processes. The first thing you need to do is navigate to your Windows taskbar and find search. Once you've found search, left click on it. In the search box, type the following, turn Windows features on or off. Once you've typed that in, the best match should be turn Windows features on or off in the control panel. You can either click on the best match here or click on open on the right hand side. Once done, the Windows features window will open. I'm just going to maximize this window for better viewing. In Windows features, you can turn Windows features on or off. To turn a feature on, select its checkbox. To turn a feature off, clear its checkbox. A filled box means that only part of the feature is turned on. The feature that we're looking for is called Windows Hypervisor Platform. Windows Hypervisor Platform is right here. And if you hover over it, you'll get a brief description on what Windows Hypervisor Platform does. So as you can see, it enables virtualization software to run on Windows Hypervisor. If the box for Windows Hypervisor Platform is clear like mine, it means that the Windows Hypervisor Platform feature is off. To turn the feature on, simply left click on the box to check mark it. The Windows Hypervisor Platform feature is now on. To save the change you have just made in Windows features, you'll need to navigate to the bottom right hand corner and left click on OK. Once done, you'll be greeted with this window which says, Windows completed the requested changes. Windows needs to reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes. You have the option to restart now or don't restart. You'll need to click on restart now to allow Windows to complete your requested change, which was turning on Windows Hypervisor platform. I'm not going to click on restart now guys, as it will stop the video recording. Once you've rebooted your PC, you'll be back on your desktop with Windows Hypervisor platform turned on. Now the third party virtualization developers can utilize Windows Hypervisor platform's capabilities. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to turn on or off hypervisor platform in Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so high to let you go?